for the first time, Laura, what we're seeing across the region is a moment when people, civil society, are on the rise and can no longer be ignored either by their own, pop, their own governments that have ignored them for so long or ignored by the United States, which has ignored them in order to shore up dictatorial regimes uh, with military and financial support that completely ignored the interests and, and opinions of these massive young populations. What's so significant about the Arab Spring is precisely that it's people, civil society, from the bottom up, who are saying now to their leaders, you can't do this anymore and think you're going to get away with it. They're saying to the U.S., you can't rely on these leaders anymore that you relied on for so long because they were able to use military force to suppress us. We wouldn't talk back. We were too afraid. The barrier of fear has been broken, and that role of civil society now, we remember hearing about the second superpower that emerged on February 15, 2003, when the world said no to war in, in anticipation of Bush's invasion of Iraq. Now we're seeing across the Arab world the second superpower rising in the Arab world made up of people mm. saying to their own government, saying to the Obama administration, saying to the world, you have to hear us. You have to hear our voices. And if you don't, you take risks of your own if you rely on our old dictators and think they are going to be able to represent your interests. They can't do it anymore. That's where you get the correlation between what happens across the Arab Spring, across the Arab world, and what happened at that town in Pakistan 48 hours ago when U.S. Special Forces went in on an assassination mission. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.